Welcome to Tenerife. E&O Cruises sent me together with a group of creators on a four-day trip to try some of the shore experiences they have on offer for the Fly Canaries cruise passengers. And in order to maximize our time on shore and try as many experiences, we didn't do it as part of a cruise. Instead, we just stayed at a hotel to have four full-on days of fun, culture, adrenaline, cuisine and good times. But good times only happen when you're part of a group, so let me first introduce you to the team. My good friend, p and Cruises Ambassador and host of this trip, Scott Tisson, who was also part of us, the content creators, including Alex, Brogan, Dave, Dominica, Greta, Johnny, Roshni, Sima and Tonya. Also Jen from p and Cruises, who made this trip happen, Mike, the photographer, and last but not least, Claire, Lawrence and Sam, the video crew, whose cinematic b-roll and drone clips have blessed this edit in between my own shots. Oh, and there's me. If it's your first time on my channel, my name is Michael Thomas, I'm a London-based time-lapse architecture and travel photographer, more commonly known as London Viewpoints on Insta. They'll do it for an intro, so let's just dive in to see what we've been up to. First up was kayaking in Los Gigantes. And here's our amazing group. kayaking in Los Gigantes. The views underneath these massive mountains are absolutely stunning. My kayak mate, Seema. Hey guys, here in a kayak in Tenerife with Michael and we're enjoying the sea. How you doing? This is uh, Scott Tisson taking over London viewpoints from the kayak. Next up, we're going on a catamaran whale and dolphin watching experience. Into the water builds up a really good appetite for lunch you can actually have as part of the experience. Next up we are looking for dolphins and whales. We're going quite far out because they never come this close but I've got my fingers crossed. We just got the amazing luck of seeing the pilot whales in a group where there was even a baby and now it's time to chill on these beautiful leather recliner sofas. This evening we arrived at the Hard Rock Cafe, which is where we're going to have the evening meal and the entertainment. And this is actually one of the experiences you can book through Newsman. It's a new partnership from p Cruises, offering you better prices on tickets for shore experiences. And of course the party continued on the bus. Good morning, we are on our day two. We're gonna be trying and tasting different experiences, a variety of tours, starting with a drive towards Masca, the road to Masca. And along this drive, we're stopping for five minutes at this magnificent viewpoint over the Masca Valley. It is one of Tenerife's most popular viewpoints. I would absolutely love to come here at night and time lapse every single car going around that bendy road. I think for light trails, that would be absolutely spectacular. We just arrived at the north of Tenerife in a gorgeous little village called Carachico. 
And behind me are the natural pools formed in between where the lava used to flow. And now are free for everyone to just come and have a swim and they look really cool too. It's a small colonial village with very beautiful and colorful facades from white to blue, green, really pretty. Absolutely fantastic double espresso here at the plaza. Mm. We arrived at El Caldorito where we're gonna have a cooking experience with the chef of the restaurant. This is part of the wine and food canary style experience where first we learned how to make a delicious coriander sauce to be served as a starter. Moving from the garden where we had the cooking experience into the main restaurant where we're going to be treated to a full lunch. And what's better than dining in a traditional tapas with a view? Seriously, the food and wine from their own vineyard here was sublime. At the end, I squeezed a quick time lapse whilst enjoying a coffee with that view. From there we headed to the second part of the same experience which was a binary tour and wine tasting. Inside the winery there was this perfect symmetrical shot with the barrels on both sides and I knew I had that shot in the head so I took a few photos of Scott and Seema and I hope you like this. Wow, absolutely stunning winery space inside here. That spiral staircase is just totally gorgeous. And there's a lot of artwork here as well. We are going further down into Club Del Vino. So here we have the place for our customer, for our client, to keep their own wine. A little party. <laughs> You can put your little love notes in the barrel. And at the end of the winery tour, we are going to enjoy the wines on this rooftop terrace with a fantastic view. And now we just arrived on the nicest beach in Tenerife. Welcome to Las Teresitas. I've actually been here in 2008 and I absolutely love this beach. The sand is so sandy because it's actually been brought from the Sahara Desert and it is absolutely gorgeous. And we are here to experience mojitos on the beach as well as a yoga session. absolutely love this beach. If you're in Tenerife, you have to visit La Terracitas because it is the best beach in Tenerife. 
Good morning, it's another day and today our trip is first starting at La Laguna, a World Heritage Site and it's a town that actually used to be the previous capital of Tenerife. And also today is Alex's birthday! Yes, Happy birthday Alex! Happy Alex. We are briefly visiting the house of the Chief General of all the Canary Islands and this atrium here with the beautiful tree inside is gorgeous in this light. Some of the streets here have this beautiful old town vibe, lots of colourful facades and they're not as busy if you come in early. called dragon trees but apparently they're not actually a tree they are a plant but they look magnificent and when we asked our guy the g-man for coffee he took us here to this crazy cool looking pastel blue building with a cafeteria on the ground level just by the cathedral let's see if it's any good oh it's pretty good And now, my kind of experience. We drove the bus to an altitude of 751 meters above the sea level, ocean level, and we are at the viewpoint Mirador Cruz del Carmen. Yes. You actually reach this viewpoint at the end of a UNESCO forest walk, which is a two-part experience with La Laguna. We have absolutely perfect conditions as clouds are just passing that peak of Mount Taylor. I'm quickly shooting a time lapse here at 105 millimeter. What a cool view this is. Honestly, could spend here hours time lapsing with different focal lengths. Our next experience is at the gardens. And if you want to do it as part, sorry to jump in. Hello, I'm Scott. If you Hello, want Scott. to do it as part of a PO Cruises Shore experience, it's gardens and Porto de la Cruz. Sadly, we're not going to go to Porto de la Cruz, but we are going to show you the fantastic guy, the fantastic gardens with this guy. <laughs> and the gardens here are really lush. Wow. Very nice to meet you. Hello. Beautiful gardens. Ah, well, Beautiful. I hope you enjoy them once you've had a good look at them. A truly beautiful garden, an oasis of tranquility, and it was nice to see the owner dedicated a studio space for local artists. The first person who uh, we know who came here was a bloke called Alexander von Humboldt, discoverer, traveler, adventurer, geologist, botanist, who was off on his way to South America and his ship popped in here to Tenerife. Lovely coffee, fantastic garden, totally recommend a visit. Next up, we went to visit Abaco Mansion, a historic grand house now being used for events and weddings and it's part of the San Pedro coastal walk experience, which I will tell you more about after this one. This room, it was the Count's um, bedroom, and then we turned it into like a room for our concerts and for our shows. You know, I always thought I'm a kind of a modern architecture and modernist kitchen style person, but this looks so cool. I could imagine seeing myself cooking here because I do cook. This is a my kind of place to hang out and have lunch. Sangria in one hand, swimming pool, not just a fountain, actual swimming pool, and a rooftop with fantastic views. But these deck chairs is where I could easily see myself chilling out and relaxing for a few hours on this tour. After or in between having lunch, which we're gonna have in a moment. Cheers. 
Thanks, Randy. This was absolutely an amazing experience. This lunch, the food we had was gorgeous. And the view, just looking at this pool, the blue sky over palm trees, totally recommend. Do you know what else is fun about Tenerife? All the miradors. Because of the island's topography, there's absolutely loads of them. And we are now at Mirador San Pedro. I'm actually gonna follow our guide, G-Man, because he knows the best spots where you can get a view. And that's actually one of the benefits of doing tours rather than driving on your own and exploring everything. You have a dedicated guide, and our guide is absolutely amazing. He knows everything and literally everyone around the towns that we visited. He was just bumping into friends and saying hello all the time and he does know where the best viewpoints are. As part of this experience, you start at this viewpoint and you continue along the path around the coast and you get to visit these ruins across your path and go all the way over there and everyone seems to be excited about it. And it looks from here as that path would be really beautiful. We actually only stopped here for a brief 15 minutes, but the view is so good, it'd be rude not to shoot a time lapse. So that's what I'm doing. 105 yet again towards the cliffs there in the background. And now we're gonna be off to the very special experience going up to the Teide National Park, which is at a very high elevation. And even though we're not gonna be going to the top of Mount Teide via the cable car because of the high winds today up there apparently, that's when the cable car just can't operate safely. I still think that once we reach the top, we're gonna to be above clouds and that is what matters. Quick break along the drive to the top of the national park and we reached a viewpoint that we are kind of around where the clouds are, at the elevation of the cloud. I'm really excited obviously about being above the clouds, but this is already looking promising. And it doesn't matter if you're on a bus or driving your own hired car, driving around Tenerife, especially in the Monte de National Park, is an experience on its own. We just reached a fantastic viewpoint of Mount Teide, and actually, in fact, this is the first stop on the half-day tour of Mount Teide that you can take from the cruise ship. What I'm doing, obviously, I've set up a quick time lapse. We're only going to be here for 15 minutes. So the three seconds interval just to get a little bit of these clouds rolling. But shooting cloud inversion against the sun is really tricky because all the clouds are really, really bright. So I'm exposing for the clouds and everything else kind of is in the shadow. So I'll have to bring it up quite a lot. But I still think you can get a really nice movement of the clouds. Funny enough, I actually do remember being here at this exact viewpoint back in 2008 because of this rock formation around the bend, around this road. Cloud inversions like this is literally what Tenerife is about, to me at least. Now, if you're visiting Tenerife, I so encourage you to take the trip, go visit at least the national park, and if you get a chance, definitely go up the cable car. That's how often in life you get to be above clouds as beautiful as this. And if you can, try to do it at sunset or sunrise. This view here from this viewpoint is just insanely, insanely cool. But if you were to take a photo or a time lapse, I would encourage you to go with the sun because the clouds there aren't as bright and you're getting more details of the highlights and the shadows. Next up on our list, we are on the moon. This is literally crazy. It feels like the moon and Fun fact, one of the scenes in the Clash of the Titans were actually filmed here with that big scorpion fight. Crazy to see there's actually 
vegetation here at 2,300 meters above sea level. Look, are these like daisies or something? I don't quite know, I'm not quite a flower guy, but I do appreciate seeing vegetation here. Funny thing is, there's nothing to time lapse here because we are so high above the clouds, there's nothing moving. However, it's a completely different story if you come here at night time, because here there's literally no light pollution. So for Astro Milky Way, this is the spot. And I don't want to spoil it, but I might be shooting it tonight. I don't know if you can hear me, but it's very windy. But this is literally the moon. There's moments where you can actually stand and not see anyone here. We arrived now at actually our penultimate stop. This place is called Mirador de la Ruleta. And the view is over this inside of what used to be the crater because all this used to be one big volcano before some of it apparently fell to one side and then a new volcano created Mount Ada. When there isn't much time and you know that top of there will be a good viewpoint, will you try to hike fast? This is what I'm talking about. Even I got my own shadow there. How cool is that? It is actually an insane privilege to be eating at this restaurant because it's a unique experience. You're eating at a hotel with a restaurant that is at the highest point where you can eat and stay and sleep on Tenerife. Absolutely lovely dinner. What a cool location to host a birthday dinner and then have cake. I honestly thought that this would be like a cheap, maybe one, two star accommodation, kind of like a student accommodation because that's what tends to be like for hikers at the top of a mountain. But this, this is like five star. I am lit by the lights that are just outside of the hotel. Behind me is the magnificent Mount Tater that I will be climbing on Saturday morning at two o'clock. Yes, actually climbing all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top for sunrise. So I'm really looking forward to that. But now we are off to a stargazing experience. I absolutely love shooting Astro. I can already see the Milky Way rising. It will be a tad difficult actually shooting a time-lapse because the stargazing guy will be like pointing his laser to things and that will ruin my time lapse. So let's see what we can get and yeah, we'll take it from there. This was my first time ever at a dark sky site so dark, like I've never seen the Milky Way this clear with a naked eye. Our stargazing slash astronomy expert showed us all the constellations, even the Hubble telescope flying past, all while I did set up a couple of time lapses but with all the cars driving past and our group taking photos with flashes, I had low hopes for either. While a single photo chosen from the time-lapse looks epic, I knew I had to go back here, find a better spot, further away from the parking area and spend the full night. So I did, two days later, and here are the results.
And this morning we are starting with an amazing experience that I've never ever actually tried and I'm really looking forward to. We are going jet skiing! Dad, go and get... not on a jet ski before. I absolutely loved it. And our second experience of the day, nothing shy of absolute epicness. Siam Water Park. It's apparently one of the best water parks in the world. So that ride goes through the shark tank. These ones, at yeah. the end, are my favorite. Yeah. We're going over here first because it's the best one. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to be listening to Brogan because she's a theme park expert. I love Siam Park. I think this is the best, so. If Brogan says so. For me, water parks are all about the slides, so that's exactly what some of us did. There's so many slides here, ranging from singles, doubles and even groups of four, varied in adrenaline level and while we managed to tick off eight of the best ones in the space of only two hours, the one iconic mega slide had too much of a queue and this is just another reason why I'll definitely be back in Siam Park and Tenerife as we had a bonkers amount of fun. Just like that, came to a close a four days pick and mix trip of testing all the experiences that one could book from the P&O cruise uh, as part of their overnight or a few days stay here in Tenerife. I would recommend you to go adventurous, to sign up to some of these experiences and explore the island. Thanks for watching, I'm gonna go now and enjoy the last dinner with the group of some of the influencers that are still here today with us. While tomorrow is part of the next video, I'm actually hiking to the top of Mount Teda for sunrise. And that is actually the highest elevation that I've ever been on. So yeah, really looking forward to it. See you in tomorrow's video.